Hey, hey, man, thanks for tuning in, man. Have an easy go PDS here. TXT 36 volts. I um, want to show you how to remove the speed sensor. And this is the same thing as the easy go TXT 48 volts. DCS, uh, anything. <coughs> advanced. It's an advanced motor. Uh, what you want to do though, first you see, I already, I already took the motor off the car. Um, if you watch my channel, man, on my channel, I have a bunch of videos of how to troubleshoot the golf cart and stuff. Uh, this is just one on how to remove the speed sensor. Uh, what you want to do, if you look in there, you can see the snap ring. I got this good old pair of $25 a week, snap-on pliers. Uh, snap, snap on man comes by every week, 25 bucks, man, a week, can't beat it. Or you can buy them straight out, $300. I'm just an average man trying to work and survive, man, pay the bills. And it's good old body economy. All right, you want to lock your ring on there? Switch my hand, man. I'm not left-handed. All right. Lock the ring on there. If you could, man, everybody leave me a comment, man. Let me know where you're from, man. I'm from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, we're from Myrtle Beach Golf Carts. You can look it up. Been doing this 28. I uh, started in 97. Got out to service. Uh, went to service from 95, 97. Did two years in the Navy on the Westpac. Went to, was in a Carl Vincent aircraft carrier. All right, man. Back to what the story's about. And then you want to pull this here. Now, sometimes, I ain't gonna lie to you, this here, uh, sometimes you end up destroying this before you get it out. Um, I got lucky this time. Uh, but I'm gonna play a lottery ticket, man. That's how hard it is to get out. But sometimes, man, if you go to get it out and you can't get it out, what you wanna do is take you some sandpaper. What happens in here, gunk gets built up. <coughs> so take you some sandpaper and kind of scratch this surface up. Then maybe using WD-40 or something like that. And just take your time, man. You can just pull. When you pull it, don't pull Don't pull like this. Grab it from the neck here because it's hard plastic. And just pull. Now what I do, I normally take it and twist it and try to clean up as I pull. And voila. There she goes, man. All right, now, while I'm here, I'm going to give you a little tip. This magnet here, if you can see the magnets facing toward the speed sensor itself. All right. A lot of people take that off, and then they put the magnet back on the wrong way. What I do, man, is if I have one that's kind of questionable, uh, whether it's a speed sensor or not, because a st stuck solenoid would cause the same symptoms as a speed sensor running slow. I've seen controllers cause it to run slow. What you could do, man, is take your magnet um, and you got the bolt that runs through your magnet, pull it through the magnet, put it on a drill and leave a gap about like that and spin your drill. With the magnet on it, jack it up, hit the gas, and the car runs fast. Then you know the speed sensor is good. If it runs slow, you know the speed sensor is bad. All right, man, stay tuned, man. I'll post more videos, man. Everybody hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know where y'all from, man. Appreciate it. Stay tuned.